Pillow. I'd like now to introduce how to read and write data sets in R using RStudio. So to begin with, let's import a data set. In RStudio it's particularly easy because we can go to our environment window and import a data set either as a text file which is a dot text or even a common delimited file or we can even read uh, the URL from the web and download that way. So to begin with I'm going to read a uh, file from my text and it's a file that's been created by my collaborator Chris Hassel who works on freshwater invertebrates in ponds. So I'm going to open this data and the first thing you'll see is that with importing data you get a, a quick view of what the data might look like and the way it will be interpreted into a data frame. All looks good so I'm going to press the import. Then you'll see um, on the left hand side in the script editor we have a very nice view of what that data actually looks like in terms of the way it has been read in. Now these data show the plant species diversity and invertebrate species diversity, largely insects, uh, in each of 59 separate ponds in the United Kingdom. We have their latitude and longitude. We also have the altitude and the pond width and so on and a variety of other uh, variables associated with the ponds. Now let's begin by analyzing these data a little bit more closely. I'm going to let insects be the particular column uh, for invertebrate species diversity in that Hassel data. And likewise I'm going to set plants as the plant species diversity in each of those ponds from that Hassel data set. Now I might want to begin to explore the relationship for example between insect species diversity and plant species diversity and one way to do that is to simply plot a graph of the insect species versus plant species and uh, this is the relationship that we get here. In a later individual lesson we will see how to test whether there's a, a genuine relationship uh, in this case between plant species diversity and invertebrate species diversity but for now we'll simply uh, visualize the data. We might have other questions too and to plot graphs for other applications we might want to load a library which is particularly good at drawing up graphics and one library is Lattice. I've already installed Lattice on this RStudio version which you do only once but each time you have a working session you need to remind RStudio that you will be using the routines within your particular packages that you've loaded and we say this using library. So the lattice package has some nice histogram techniques. This is what we're drawing here for simply the distribution of invertebrate species diversity over all of those uh, 59 ponds that uh, we looked at uh, there. Some of them are really very common uh, but most of them are, uh, have a diversity of between about 10 and 30 species uh, per pond. Now we might be interested in creating a data set comprised solely of the invertebrate and plant species diversity. So in a way we want to create a new data frame. So this is how we might do it. We say diversity data is C-bind the insect data and the plant data. Then we would like to write it to a uh, file that we can access later. Well, in this particular instance what we would do is simply call the entire data set to diversity data and uh, we can also give the name for the file that we're writing and I'm going to call it diversity.txt. Now if I don't specify the address then it will be given in the default directory that I'm working from. 
However, I can also specify the address by giving, for example, the area on the C or J directory and, uh, and download it uh, that way onto my computer. So let's have a look to just to check whether it's been imported here from the text file. Ah, here's the diversity because it's all part of my uh, project and I'm opening it up here. We can see our import and there is the individual data set that uh, we have extracted from our larger uh, data table.